Good day, Mary Me. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. It is so awesome to see everyone. Huh? <laughs> I wanted to come on briefly as I can today and talk to you guys a little bit about mala beads. Now, one of the reasons why I'm doing this today is because of the person that won my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, there's actually a charged and activated set of mala beads that is included in your package. They are similar to my mala beads. Uh, yours are obsidian and tiger's eye, much like mine. Your tassel and a little bit of the details uh, are slightly different. Uh, like I said, they're already charged and activated. And you will find, and this is what I hear more often than not, when I send packages out, whether it's a giveaway or some of my oils and candles and things like that, I think people are kind of surprised when they receive a package and they open it and this marvelous positive energy just comes booming out at you. It's like, oh my goodness, Glenna's just popped into the room. And actually I, I have. <laughs> but be that as it may, uh, I just absolutely love mine. Um, I received these as a gift from someone who is very, very positive. And uh, it is tradition to wear them for 40 days after you receive them. And thankfully, you don't have to charge and activate yours, but I would absolutely wear them, uh, whether it be around your wrist or as a necklace. Uh, the tassel actually is really good to wear. If, you, if it's not practical to wear around your wrist, uh, to wear the tassel close to your heart chakra, because uh, there's a, a lot of energy that will be coming off of this, or close to your wrist, one way or another, it's going to be a lot of positive energy sending your way. It's going to repel negativity. It's going to help with your vision as far as seeing maybe situations or people, maybe a little bit clearer. So be forewarned. <laughs> I will be like putting on, um, you know, really high-powered glasses, like, I see you for what you are, or, or I see the situation for what it is. So I hope you in, you will enjoy it. But, um, yeah, either way, now tradition dictates that men wear the mala beads on their right hand and women on their left. I personally, I have worn them on my right hand because this is my power hand so again it's entirely up to you I would strongly guard them and try to keep them you know from falling onto the ground or if you're sitting in meditation don't allow them to you know just drape onto the ground again that's disrespectful if you are going to be using them in meditation with mantras, om um, shanti shanti shanti, or, you know, or whatever. There's so many mantras, you know, for prosperity and, you know, so many different things. Uh, you start at your, of course, your guru bead. Your guru bead means darkness to light. So as you go, you start kind of like in mental darkness or maybe dim. <laughs> and as you go through your mantra, or you might want to call on your deity as you go through your mala beads or whatever works for you. And as you go and you hit the, the guru bead, this, of course, it's the first one right up at the top of the tassel. Use your middle finger and your thumb. Your index finger should not be involved in this situation at all. Your index finger is the fire element. Your thumb is the earth element, and your middle finger is the sky. And your your index finger is also seen as egotistical, and you, you know you you kind of want to avoid that. But as you you 
go through for, from darkness to light. Don't cross back over the guru bead. Instead, if I can do it here, just flip it around onto the other side and go from there if you decide to carry on. Um, and, you know, don't go into a panic if... Now, I have, I have yet to have broken any of my obsidian. Of course, we all know obsidian is super, super hard. But don't become upset if you break a bead because that is viewed as spiritual growth. So no worries about that. But I hope you enjoy them. As a matter of fact, I was I, I was in my, my room here and kind of going through things. And of course, you can see a spell candle happening and, you know, a few other things going on here. But I have actually, and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree or something like that. But this is a set of my mother's charms. We are definitely Scottish. I think you guys can see. So she, she had this on her purse. And I have it here now. It is not in my sacred space, but it is in this room. And then I have a a very very old 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 I don't I don't even know how old this is I believe this was my grandmother's rosary and I mean it's very old this is one of her sets of rosary and this is her other set and really I didn't realize how actually beautiful this was until I put on my until I put on my glasses and I looked, and each crystal is set in prongs. And this is just absolutely, just really, really beautiful. But I have a little piece of my mom and my grandmother, uh, kind of. Uh, but if you have any questions about anything that's in your giveaway box, then you have my email. You are always more than welcome to send me a question or you know, a concern or whatever. But everything that I send out of here is always, always charged, always activated because I really, really want everyone to experience super, super positive energy. And as I've gathered everything together for your box, because I mean, I knew the, the model bracelet necklace was going to be there of course because I've been charging it but I started gathering things together and again that's one of my ways that I read I just start touching things and it things start to come to me and so everything in your box is geared towards protection and enlightenment so I hope you guys have a wonderful awesome day. Stay happy, of course. Stay safe and stay magical. Mary part, and I absolutely so, so hope to marry meet again. Goodbye, guys.